катастрофа и близко не подъедешь As death toll is rising among Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine, Putin's regime is receiving increased backlash for its war of invasion in Ukraine. A resident of Russia's St. Petersburg city has shared video footage of a large cemetery in the city that is known to be the cultural capital of the Russian Federation. In a video posted in Telegram messaging app, the social media user has condemned Putin's war of invasion in Ukraine and decried the killing of Russian soldier in Ukrainian soil. Dark side of the culture capital of Russian Federation. How many guys have died? For what? What the hell were you looking for in Ukraine? You cannot return the guys. The graveyard is getting larger and larger, the man said as he was filming the video. Russia has been expanding its cemeteries since full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in more than two years ago. According to some media reports, as of June, the government has spent $1.5 million on cemetery expansion. Так, темная сторона культурной столицы России. Вот оно, блядь. Нахуй никому не впавшая СВО, блядь. Нахуй оно нужно, блядь? Сколько пацанчиков лежат? За ради чего, блядь? Чё там ту ёбаной Украине нахуй забыли, блядь? Ёб твою мать, блядь. А пацанов не вернуть, нахуй. Блядь, сука, кладбище растёт и растёт. Сука. In the Pokrovsk direction, the Russians fail to break through the Ukrainian defense. At the same time, the situation here remains the most difficult for the Ukrainian armed forces. As reported by Ukrainian resources, such a statement was made by the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian army, Alexander Sirsky. Sirsky published a post on Telegram dedicated to the situation in the Pokrovsky direction. According to him, there are fierce battles there. According to him, the Russian command sent very large forces to this area in order to break through the Ukrainian armed forces' defense. The most intense fighting, writes Sirsky, is observed near Gradovka. Krasny Yar, Mikhailovka, adjacent to Selidovo, and also in Novogradovka itself. A number of Ukrainian media outlets claim that Sirsky intends to stop the advance of the Russian armed forces near Pokrovsk and Kurakovo. Hundreds of people are fleeing the eastern city of Pokrovsk every day as Russian forces slowly advance towards its center. The city, which had a pre-war population of some 60,000 and is a major road and rail hub, would be a great strategic prize for Moscow if it can be taken. It remains unclear if the Russian military, which is now less than 10 kilometers away, intends to fight its way through the city, which would likely incur civilian casualties, or whether it aims to encircle the city as it did in bloody battles to capture the cities of Bakhmut and Avdiivka. If Pokrovsk falls, the defeat would imperil Ukraine's defenses and bring Russia closer to its stated aim of capturing the entirety of the Donetsk region where it lies. Unlike Pokrovsk, where Ukrainian forces have built extensive fortifications, 
Other parts of the Donetsk region, still under Kyiv's control, are less protected and could be significantly more vulnerable to the Russian onslaught if the key city falls. Though Kyiv hoped its Kursk offensive would undercut Russia's push toward the eastern city of Pokrovsk, that has not happened. Instead, Russian advances have accelerated while Russia has redeployed forces from other areas to Kursk Oblast. Moscow seems to have calculated it can contain the crisis in Kursk while exploiting Ukraine's shortage of troops in Donetsk Oblast.